Hello. Thank you for joining me and continuing down the path of the certificate program. You guys are doing great. So it's been a pleasure working with the folks at the Arizona Veterinary Medical Association and the leaders in the veterinary healthcare team of Arizona. I'm actually collaborating also with the Colorado State University in bringing to you True Colors. I was first introduced to True Colors while facilitating orientation with the Colorado State University veterinary students. And I've implemented and used this seminar and program in a plethora of ways. I've used it with uh, leaders within the Technician Association, leaders within veterinary hospitals, and even nonprofit groups. I find it to be very good, I, easy to understand. So that's why I bring it to you. So we are now in the first session, the exercise that belongs with the communication piece during our um, live session in the future when we meet. So it's your job to go through this program and the word sort, which is a handout that you have uh, access to. So I would strongly encourage you to print off the word sort and have it with you because we'll be using it in the near future. So what is True Colors? Well, it's an understanding and appreciate, appreciating and honoring ourselves and others. It helps us see people from a different light. And that we all gain dignity, pride, self-respect, and esteem when we do that. When we embrace other folks' pre preferences and understand where they're coming from. And that we will learn how to be effective and great leaders, teachers, friends, spouses, coworkers, students, and parents when we understand these concepts and bring them into our lives, even on a daily basis. It really is that profound and it can be that profound. You may be surprised to learn that most problems at work or in relationships are caused by personality issues and not technical difficulties. Personality, personality issues and often misunderstandings because of that. So why are we doing this? Well, through true colors, we can recognize and appreciate your own unique strengths and preferences and really pinpoint them and identify them. And I'll give you some visuals as well. Recognize and appreciate the unique strengths and differences of other people in our lives, other um, people in our coworkers' sphere of influence, in our family units. Maybe we do work with nonprofits. This applies to all of that. It applies to our children as well. It helps us to recognize and appreciate the value and importance of diversity in the workplace and beyond and truly will enhance your communication and people skills. See how amazing these are? Absolutely amazing. Now there's some other applications as well. Think about how when you're writing an email message about how this skill might help you. Because messages you're sending addressed to professional and their topics um, keeping that mindful of the recipient and who they are and the color they are. And keep in mind too that when you're sending an email, it's difficult to provide and interpret the tone, the feelings, the intensity. Maybe you're trying to be sarcastic or maybe not and it's being perceived that way. Emails can get us into a lot of trouble if we don't pay attention. And on the other side of that, how does the recipient interpret that? Because we can't know when they're opening it up. They may have had just the crappiest day of their life and that's when they open your email and the way they're sitting and, and the 
feelings that they have when you open it may make it easier or more difficult to read what you type to them. So the recipient's interpretation may depend upon their color, their personality type, their personal preferences. It may depend upon the mood when they're reading it and so many other things. So keep this in mind, these ideas of colors when you're creating emails and who the recipient is. So true colors is a philosophy. We know everyone's need for esteem is intrinsic. We all need it. And how individuals experience esteem is different. To explain these differences, True Colors uses four different colors as metaphors to, to find those different temperaments. So we, were, we will be looking at green, gold, blue, and orange. And these colors were chosen because of their direct association with psychological and physiological needs. And the gentleman who did this is Don Lowry, and he created True Colors in 1978. So here are some of the key concepts for True Colors. They're here to eliminate blame and that we dare to honor differences. It's here to help us reframe to look to understanding rather than discounting. And this is the disclaimer is that we're all four colors. We have all of these traits and opportunities and blends within us. It's just that when we identify our preferences, some of these colors will be brighter than others. And this will be perfectly clear in a, in a short period of time. So have fun with this in absolutely no color bashing whatsoever. So now I'm moving into the idea of this word sort. So again, I, I need for you to print this out because it's going to help us identify as we go through your brightest color. So when you're filling out the word sort, think of yourself in a storm, normal state of being when you're not stressed out. And think about this at work because we're doing this professionalism piece at work. Don't overthink the words, go quickly through them. And this is not a test, you will not be tested on this whatsoever. When you're identifying the number one through four, four being most like you, give it a solid number. No doubles or halves or anything like that. It's simply four is most like you. So here is an example of the word sort. So I'm going to show you what the first line looks like for me, and we keep these in rows. So along the first row, there's categories of words and boxes. So along the first row, you identify which is most like you. So out of this, I put a number four in the first box because I like variety and sports and action and motion. So that's most like me. Then I would choose three, next, two, and one, least like me. So of these, it's going to sound strange, but of these choices, one, learning, science, and privacy. That's what I would have to put down there. See how that is? So you go across the row. Four most like you, one least like you. I'm gonna ask you to work on the word sort. So kindly stop or pause the video and do the word sort. And when you're finished, continue the video. Cool, so now you've finished the word sort, you've placed all your numbers, and now I'm going to tell you about these colors. So here is a visual aid for the color of green. Just look at this card for a moment and think about what you see. I see an owl, a wise owl. I see people really inquisitive cracking the egg, asking questions. I 
So green is definitely about science, math and logic. Everything that is data-based, data-driven. They have the wise old owls, you know, pondering faces, um, graphs, and everything is very analytic and charts. They are the investigative group and inventive, right? These folks are creating that NASA space shuttle and taking us to the moon. They want to know what became came first, the chicken or the egg. These people are also seen as very visionary. So those are green. Green are about growth and questions. Their minds are always growing. They're very curious. So bring on the gold. Take a look at this one. They got a lot of time and dates and very home oriented, proud to serve. More conservative in their dress. Calendars and dates, very timely. They're watching the clock. They're efficient that way. They want to be getting things done on time. They are family oriented and they will have a savings account and money in that little piggy bank down there. The umbrella shows that they are prepared. That boy scout comes through or that girl scout and they're more serious, more focused. So that is green, or I'm sorry, that is gold. Good as gold, solid as gold, responsible folks have that piggy bank full. Here comes blue. So tell me about blue. Think about what's in this picture. I see love and romance and I see flowers and appreciation, art. So these folks are romantic. It's all about harmony and peace and love and the dove here, you know, bringing the, the peace. Pretty things. These folks are typically very affectionate. They can be in drama and theater and they excel at that. It's, it's a good safe place for them to be. They're about the rainbows and promises. You know, if you want a mural in your veterinary hospital, these are the folks that are gonna help get that done. To thy own self be true. And they're the dreamers. And then there's the blue, true as true can be, true blue, and that harmonious piece. All right, here are the oranges sliding in on their rollerblades and their surfboard. So tell me and show me, look at what orange brings. That's right, they've got the action. They're the ones that are outdoor enthusiasts, always going and wanting to be in on the big adventure. They may be the more risk takers. They may be seen as chaotic and chaos themselves. They want to be doing things with their hands, hands on. They got the world by the string and they could be possibly your more wildly dressed individuals and they like music and noise and the party. Um, these folks are the ones that if they want to go study, they're going to go to Starbucks where there's a lot of action. They feel comfortable there. So the oranges are their bright and bold. These are your adventure driven folks. So those are the visuals of all the colors. Now let's come back to the word sort and determine who you are. So the first column, could you figure that one out? Those are all the oranges. The second column, gold, blue, and green. So then you add up your totals and determine 
what is your brightest color? So in this example, when you add the column down, this person is gold. Their shiniest, brightest color is gold. Now their least color is orange. So they are, are less adventurous, but they are definitely more family geared could be, you know, so see how this works. So I want you to identify what is your top two um, shiniest numbers. For me, my top two are orange. I call myself a flaming orange and I'm a blue. And we will actually, when we meet, um, have stickers for us so that we can see where everybody is lined in their colors. So each color has its own brightening process. Each one has values and joys, strengths, but we also have stressors and frustrations, which is good to know. These are great, great traits to know and understand. So for the bright oranges, values that they hold are freedom, adventure, fun and play, a lot of variety and action. They are competitive, they are independent, and again, thrive in that place of energy and action. So those are their values. Now their stressors are stupid rules, anything slow, money or lack of it, anything that's boring and has some kind of a routine in it, um, rigidity, time, and procrastination, definitely a stressor. So for your bright blues, they value honesty, friendship, that harmonious peace. They're very compassionate and they want other people to be compassionate. They um, value family and friends, the communication piece. They really want to be highly communicated to. They want to know what you're feeling, know how you're doing things, tell them what's going on so that they can understand you and appreciate beauty. So stressors for bright blues could be any kind of fighting, uncaring people, time limits of any type. They despise dishonesty and insincerity. And again, lack of communication is really a stressor for them. So when someone doesn't wanna to talk to them, they take it very personally. Um, lack of romance and just simple mean people. They just mean people stress them out. So here we go for gold. They're, they value dependability and being dependable being responsible and anything that's um, anybody who is responsible. They value good leaders and structure and that organized peace. They value the family and home and commitments. They're very stable. Remember, good is gold. And they get it done right and on time. So those are values of theirs. They're very, they hold very strongly to those. And stressors, slackers. So you can already see where some of these people um, in these preferences, that, how that can cause tension and frustration. So stressors can be chaos, anything that's messy, sudden changes. Oh, can't stand that. They um, have a difficult time with anybody being late or not being told that they'll be late. Um, irresponsible people stress them out. And if there's no clear direction, that is just like unfathomable to them. How could you ever live your life without having a direction? And a stressor is being unorganized. So again, see how that can really cause some difficulties between people. So here's our bright greens. Their value is logic having all the answers and working diligently all the time to find all the answers. They're competent. Problem solving is high on their list. They're determined, smart, and they like mind challenges. They like to be challenged. Stressors, anything that's nonsense, nonsensical and unfair. Stressing them out is anybody who's incompetent and stupid people. And if there's just far too much emotion, see where that could be a problem? Confusion, mass confusion or that chaos. They just, they don't want that. 
and it really upsets them when they're unable to figure something out. So I think these are all really helpful. So you can see, as I was pointing out, you could probably determine in your head too, where these conflicting uh, colors could make um, for difficult roads ahead sometime. So here we go. You can see that an orange may have a hard time with a bright gold or a blue may have a hard time with a bright green. Now the flip side to this is complementary tasks and duties, right? So keeping in mind, I'm that flaming orange. However, I have people in my life and I know them and love them and respect them and turn to them often to help me accomplish goals, brainstorm, be realistic in my life. I often seek out and have great friends who I would consider bright gold and bright green. And we know this about each other. It's what makes us so um, bonded and complementary. So this can work both ways. Once you identify these stressors and their values and how that could be conflict, it can be hugely complementary and hugely dynamic on the other side. So there are some factors affecting true colors. It could be your age and your environment, simply your lifestyle, the culture in which you grew up, the region or nation where you lived, your gender, your religion, occupation. Now, you can see how that can affect um, fundamental values, right? But as I've stated before, and here's that underlying clause, is that your brightness of color can change throughout the day at home or at work, and you actually have a blend of all of those colors within you. Again, as me using me as an example, I write books. I have to stay focused. I have to be able to take that chaotic place where I love to live, um, where I like to be, um, and bring it down to books and programs like this and functioning in this place and creating things on deadlines. So I can see within me, I have all of this in me. And within all of our teams, we have all of these wonderful um, values and visions within us. So our differences are to be appreciated, pre appreciated if we are to realize our full potential. So enjoy speaking this new language. And thank you so much for your time in True Colors. I hope you've had a good time with this. It can be very enlightening. I have had people um, ask me, now Rebecca, aren't we stereotyping folks when you do this? And you know what, if you wanna stereotype them, go ahead. But the fact of the matter is, there's far more good that can come out of this. There's far more good about learning who you are personally and helping you know and understand who that other person is, where they're coming from, what are their values? Um, because we are all very value driven. Within the veterinary hospital, we have similar values in that we want to help people and their pets. That's a huge value all of us share. Um, we want to treat pets and get them feeling better as quickly as possible. That's a shared value. We also share have values shared in um, working together as a greater whole and being synchronicity and having synergy amongst us. Those are values. And I think with colors, we're able to find that easier, better, faster, and really create a language that supports each other through this. So again, I'm so happy that you're participating in our professional veterinary team certificate program. I do believe this fun activity um, will help all of us. And we are definitely going to bring to light your colors and share all of this when we meet in the near future. Thank you very much. Have a lovely day.